Guilty Gear Strive, Developer Backyard. I don't know what number this is. I think this is five or six. I am not sure, but they continue to pump them out. I am so glad that, you know, they they do this thing where they're, you know, they give us all this information because as far as I know, they don't really do this for, you know, other games like, uh, you know, fighters and stuff like that. But then again, fighters isn't really, you know, handled by Arxism. It's not their baby. Anyway, we're going to get into this. A lot of characters and stuff. Uh, I don't know what they're going to be doing this time. Uh, okay, here they're talking about the characters. Giovanna. Ooh, cool. They have her, uh, her PNG. That's good. And then some gameplay stuff. Uh, might as well uh, read some of this. So what? who is Giovanna? She's an officer in Special Operations uh, Unit that protects the President of the United States. Bad call. She's careful with her words, but still manages to come off as rude and irrelevant due to her attitude. Deep down, though, she means well. C kind of relate to that. She's uh, especially friendly with uh, children and animals during battle. She allows her wolf spirit, Ray, to possess her and uh, amaze her opponents with inhuman sp uh, Let's take a look at her capabilities in battle. As her description, incredible rushdown that can break down any defense, a super-powered special forces officer for the president implies she specializes in close-range combat. She can ha claim victory by closing in with her fast movement and locking the opponent down with her powerful uh, offense. On the other hand, her short range can make it difficult to get in on the opponent. Try using special moves that launch Giovanna forward to approach. Uh, so I'm having a feeling, since she's a new character, that she's probably going to be for a lot of people. Uh, a lot of new people that come to this game. I mean, I, I feel like she's going to be a beginner character because, you know, she's rushed down. She, prop she has tools for, you know, rushing down on people on in neutral and stuff, I assume. Uh, and... Seeing as, you know, she already has, like, a really big liking to her for, like, a lot of people. Like, a lot of people have been saying, yeah, I want to I wanna play her and stuff like that. I can already tell, like, a lot of people are going to be playing her day one or even longer than that. Uh, I, I being one of them, uh, probably as well as Sol, a bad guy. guy. Anyway, let's get into the questions. Okay, so question number one. Has the ranked match system really been removed? Okay. This is really interesting. I don't know what... I don't know like what this whole uh, thing is about, like this whole list is going to be about, but this is actually a video, uh, something I recorded not too long ago that I wanted to post, but I wanted to wait uh, until they had more information about it. So I'm glad they actually are bringing this up now. Uh, so, you know, I don't have to re, uh, you know, redo it again. So yeah, there is no ranked match mode. That function is now fulfilled by online lobbies. Okay. So yeah. Uh, essentially, the tower system from the beta, that's what they're going to go for. I I hope they change some stuff about it. Anyway, let's continue to read. There are separate lobbies, one with multiple levels that have restrictions based on the player's uh, skill level, and one with no restrictions that anybody can enter. We'll discuss uh, player ma matches elsewhere. Our goals with the previous uh, ranked match system were as follows. Uh, players match with e different players depending on their skill level. Players can uh, practice in training mode while waiting for a match. Players feel motivated to improve because they are elevated based on their skills and uh, match results. These goals will be met by the online lobby. Uh, yeah, so... This right here is what they do in Fighters. And if they do that in this game, I will be very happy because I do not want to go into a... Uh, Pixelmon, you know, lobby thing. I really don't. I'm really good on that. If they can, like, do this for their game, I will be 100% for it. I don't want to go in the lobby, into the uh, pyramid scheme stuff. I just want to fight. That's pretty much all. That's pretty much all I want, you know. I'm pretty sure that's what a lot of people want. They just want to get into the fights. Our reasoning behind including it in another mode is that we want to avoid the player base being split between different modes. By doing it this way, the players will conjugate in one mode, making it easier for everyone to enjoy matches with players closer to the skill. Which, I'm okay with. Like, I personally do not care about ranked matches. Honestly, uh, it's, it's a whole stressful um, ideal, but that, that whole stress comes from, in my personal opinion, from the online. And, uh, you know, unfortunate mistakes that come from it. 
uh, you know, obviously, you know, if you lose, you lose. It is what it is. Uh, but taking out the numbers and, you know, taking out the value of that, I mean, I don't know if that'll change much because the game already has like a I'm the top class, you're the bottom class type of deal with the, you know, the whole pecking order of uh, how the uh, ranked matches now work in uh, Strive. With previous titles, there was a tendency for players to gravitate towards modes that didn't impact their rank until they improved at the game. Yeah, casual, like uh, for fighters. That's uh, a lot of people did that. We want all players who picked up Strive to be able to enjoy the game playing matches online. So we prepare features that make it possible for everyone to match with players uh, close to their skill level. One of our concepts for Guilty Gear Strive is to make a game that is fun to play, whether you get deep into it or not, both online and offline. While the game has mechanics worth uh, delving into, such as deep techniques and mechanics depend, uh, you know, uh, intended for advanced players, having a matching system that pairs players appropriately means that players of all skill levels can learn how fun fighting games can be. That's that's good. I mean, I I'm, I'm glad that they're so concerned about players, you know, and how they you know, how they'll get into the game. I'm kind of curious on how the offline modes will be. All right, so question number two. Uh, I have a question about the online matches in the new game. Will there be a ranking system or other uh, similar system in uh, Strive? I mean, that's essentially the same thing that he answered up. There's a uh, system that restricts the lobby players can enter based on their skill level. So yeah, if I suck, I can't go to the top. While well, similar to the previous ranking system, this is a renewed version of prior concept. As mentioned earlier, our goal is to provide fun for a variety of players. Our goal is to solve the issues of players evolving matches due to being overly concerned about the uh, friction of points or maintaining their win ratio. Yeah, that whole win ratio, I, I am better than you because I have a higher number thing. I mean, I'm kind of glad that's out. It's not as, it's not as great, it's not as, uh, Deteriorate, or I don't know the word deteriorating. I don't know if that's the correct word to use in this context, but it's a lot better feeling if you're just like somebody's in a higher level. Like, I get it, Goichi's gonna be at the top of uh, stairway to heaven. I know I'm gonna probably be in, in the slums of uh FF7. Like, I can see that happening, and I don't really feel bad mad about that, you know, as long as I still get good matches. Players can then enjoy matches with others to uh close to their skill level creating a situation where they don't lose anything even if they don't win a match and could avoid matching with players at a different level. As we felt the previous system didn't accomplish this, we felt it was necessary to attempt new uh, something new, such as merging the modes. Uh, we've also included systems other than points so that your floor placement is determined not only by the results of your matches, but by the context of the matches as well. Okay, so I'm guessing they're gonna see uh, how offensive you were how much blocking you did, how many back, how much backing away, how much pressure you did, because that was a big thing in the beta. Like I did notice that. Like once you won a match, it would show that I believe like where you were, where you stood in on that in that match. So that's good. That's interesting. In the console version of Xrd, question number uh, three, uh, rankings were only affected by uh, rank matches. Our players' rankings were only affected. What are the plans for the system in Guilty Gear Strive? Personally, I'd be happy if there was an option for longer sets, rather than a only best of three. That would impact your ranking. We don't currently have plans for long sets that impact your ranking. I enjoy system. I enjoy that system personally, but having rankings impacted by repeated matches between the same players could potentially disrupt the balance of the ranking system. Interesting. However, we have plans for a point and uh, ranking system sp separate from matchmaking that allows players across the world co to uh, compete with one another. We'll share more information about this at a later date, they mean. Question 4. In the previous game, I felt that there was an issue where too many players reached the highest rank and those players would stop playing rank matches. Do you have any thought on this? Thanks for your time. Okay, so it seems like this whole thing is about online and ranked. I'm all for that. I actually appreciate this a lot because not a lot of people, you know, I don't think, uh, I don't know, I, I, I appreciate how forward Arc System is with this. I really am. In uh, Get to Give Stripe, there's a uh, social floor only for players with truly top class, aka Goichi in them. Uh, this floor has special system uh, where players lose the right to enter unless they 
maintain a certain record within a determined time period. Okay, so this is essentially like for players that are very, very good, like they, and like not in, even in the game, like in general, like they are very, very good fighting game players and they get into this game and then they beat everybody's ass and within like the first two days and then, you know, they're in the top of the world. Like only they could get in that because they are very good and it's really, you know, it's shown that they're really good. They're very good fighting game players, not just Guilty Gear players. Uh, I, I guess that's what this is re referring to. So people that are in the top rank of the top rank would be up there and they'll be fighting amongst themselves. That's interesting. I hope it doesn't make it uh, to a point where not everybody could fight everybody. And now, uh, you know, they're only locked uh, between, you know, the top players. Question number five. What are plans to ensure uh, people can match and rematch as quickly as possible after booting up the game? This is the PS5. We do not, or, you know, Xbox Series X. We do not need to have, you know, super complicated stuff because of this whole thing. If they make it like fighters, and I'm, then, then I'm all for it, you know. Uh, it's possible to wait for a match in training mode. Thank you. Under uh, certain conditions set by the player, going from the main menu without having to enter the lobby screen. After the match, players return to the training mode without a loading screen because it's next gen, baby. Making it possible to uh, begin search for the next opponent quickly. This means that players who want to get in as many matches as possible, as well as those who don't enjoy moving around in lobbies, can use this feature to play stress-free. Thank you. This is even better than fighters. Uh, the how fighters work. So, I, I, essentially, you don't need to get in the lobby. Once you get in the game, you can just play quick play or whatever instead of getting into a lobby, and then you're good. That's really cool. Uh, and you can straight, you know, fight in training mode as well while you do it. That's I appreciate that like a hundred percent. I am curious about the uh, lobby system, Exert's lobby system, as well as those in the other Arc System Works games have um, miniature uh, arcade cabinets and battle co uh, kiosks to uh, organize players into separate areas and allow them to identify whether or not a match is going on. However, Strive's lobby moves away from the kiosks and allow players to m begin matches wherever they want. This unfortunately resulted in large crowds forming it in a single area to a point where no one knew, uh, no one could tell who matched up to with who during the closed beta testing. Yeah, that was awful. Uh, may I ask what was the idea behind allowing players to freely match up anywhere? We've had the idea of letting players match freely by coming into contact with the other battle ready players without using something like an arcade cabinet while even while making prior games. However, as I am sure you all know, during the closed beta test, this caused many issues and it was difficult to initiate battles as a result. We'd like to apologize uh, once more for this. We've reworked the system after the closed beta test and currently battle ready players move to a fixed position in the area. You'll be able to see how it works during the next uh, beta test. That's cool. So now instead of us, you know, mashing X uh, to find a match and, you know, inside of a giant clump, it just, you know, it, it, in between all of that, we are actually able to actually see what we want to do and how we want to, uh, you know, who we, we want to fight and we'll go to a different area and do that. Kind of like uh, the tournament area in Fighters. Uh, question number seven, we know that Strive will have crossplay between PS4 and 5, but we don't know whether PC will be joining, creating, create a unified player base. This is a big thing. Uh, members of Arc System Worth have stated that they want crossplay to, cross to become a standard going forward. So what is the Team Red's feeling and current situation on PC slash PlayStation crossplay in terms of Strive? We've received a lot of requests from the players regarding the implementing crossplay between the PC and console versions. However, there are many problems that need to be overcome before it can be added to the game. I'm guessing that's uh, uh, rollback netcode because they are very new to this. Um, I don't blame them for that. At this time, we've decided not to implement crossplay on the release, but they can add it later. I'm glad about that. We are, however, looking forward into implementing it in the future. I hope you can support the game as uh, as we work towards crossplay implementation. Okay, I this is actually one of the biggest things. I, they're in like, back in Exerd, right? There were so little people that played this game to the point where it was 
almost impossible to find anybody anywhere unless they were playing in PlayStation or PlayStation 3. Exert on the PC, I don't, I don't even know if it was on the PC, but one of them, no, PC, I believe. It was sent to die. Nobody could play it. Nobody could play Exert with other people because if you're not on PC playing Exert, then who are you playing with, you know? Which sucked. Major cojones, all right? I hope that this is not something that happens in this game. And with, from the talks of this and uh, number seven, it does not look like that's going to happen. And I am very glad about that. All right, I think that's that was it. So yeah, Guilty Gear Strive. It's making leaps and bounds above a lot of developers right now. Like, I have good faith in this because uh, over the week, over the couple, last couple of days, I've been trying out the new uh, beta for Guilty Gear Access Core, and it was freaking amazing because there was literally no delay. You could set your delay, uh, no matter where anybody was. Like, I have shitty internet, all right? And I'm playing people with freaking 200 uh, freaking frames of, uh, you know, ping, and I could just put two frames on that baby, and it's completely fine. My character doesn't delay, nothing is wrong, and it feels amazing. I have high hopes for Guilty Gear and how they implement their rollback, and I hope them seeing how well uh, Accent Core um, did uh, on Steam and is doing, because I still play the game like from time to time. I hope th them seeing that and understanding, like, wow, a lot of people, even overseas uh, and with Japan, everybody seems to like this thing. Maybe we shouldn't be scared of it. Maybe we should be playing it a little bit more, you know, playing this game of. Uh, you know, using rollback for, you know, helping everybody to be able to play, you know, to diverse the uh, player base. Maybe we should be doing that. Maybe we should be trying our best to, uh, you know, join communities together so that we have a bigger player base. I I hope that, you know, this is something they, they see and, you know, they continue to do. And because of the this question of, uh, you know, Playing with PC players is even a thing at all. That's really cool. I don't know Xbox if Xbox is a, even going to get Guilty Gear. I don't think it do, it will. If it does, I really wish PS5, PS4 could get out their asses and you know actually allow people to play with them. But you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm really excited uh, for everything they said here because this was pretty much the biggest thing. A lot of people were a little bit iffy about and. The fact that this has been cleared up now, I I have a lot more faith now. I have a lot more faith than ever. I I am honestly very 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 excited for where whatever the hell this thing goes. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys think about this? How do you feel about the lobby system? Do you still wish that we had went back to the freaking chinko machine so we didn't have to you know play Hobo Hotel or our RuneScape inside of there and you know, to get matching matches done? Are you happy that it's changed it up a bit? Are you happy that we could go inside of training mode and, you know, you know, go to ranked or casual mode, I don't know which one it is, and play our games? I'm happy about this, honestly. The fact that you do not have to stay in a lobby and, you know, to, to get games in, it's freaking amazing to me. Uh, I hope, you know, to see a lot more about this. I'm, I'm, I'm happy because Guilty Gear has been probably my first fighting game to ever play and the fact that it's the game from Japan that is trying to make leaps and bounds to strive to be something different is really cool. Anyway, that's it for me, uh, Che Mix. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, consider liking it, sharing it for anybody that you know is curious to see and understand more about this, uh, uh, the backyard and all their scenarios and stuff and where to actually get it. I'll send a link in the uh, in the bottom of the video. Anyway, check me out on Twitter on uh, Twitch from my, I do draw art from time to time over there. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Stay humble and peace.